Fort Worth. How are we doing? Good to be with you. Uh, let's hear it for Crystal Mason. Absolutely amazing. So courageous, so tenacious, so persistent. And not only does that describe her, it describes every single person here tonight. Because I'll tell you what, this group of people, and then some, in 2018, made me the first Democrat to win Tarrant County since 1994. And this group of people, and then some, are gonna make me the first Democrat to be governor of the state of Texas since 1994. This is on us. This is on all of us. Listen, I, I feel extraordinarily lucky to be here with you tonight. It looks like from the early returns, I will be your nominee for governor for the state of Texas. And because we knew that there'd be such a great group of people out, fired up, a little bit of alcohol in their systems, um, I, I have, I've only asked my entire family to join me once on this campaign, and it is tonight. This is my wife, Amy, my son, Henry, my daughter, Molly, my son, Ulysses, and our friend, Wallace, back there. <laughs> they wanted to be with us tonight on election night here in Fort Worth in Tarrant County. Tell me there's a more important place in Texas for us to be, a more important place for us to win than this one right here. And we have traveled the breadth and the length of this state, starting out in the westernmost county in the mountain time zone in the Chihuahua Desert, connected to Ciudad Juarez, our sister city, El Paso, Texas. And whether I'm in El Paso, whether I'm in Louisville, whether I'm in Texarkana, which is as far away as you can be and still be in the same state. I find the most amazing, the most beautiful, the most creative, the most inspiring people on the planet. This is our home. And the beauty in this state and our values, we work hard and we do good work and we're good to one another, that's not reflected in those who hold power and positions of public trust in this state right now. The things that we want are not just good for Democrats. They're not just good for Republicans or independents either. They are good for all of us. We want to make sure that the best jobs in the United States of America are created right here in the state of Texas. Right? Argue that one. We want to make sure that we get behind our world-class public school educators so that we have world-class public schools in the state of Texas. We all want that. We want to make sure that we finally expand Medicaid so that people can see a doctor. No one dies of diabetes or curable cancer or the flu. And don't you think it's time that we legalize marijuana in the state of Texas? I do too. We can get that done. But in order to make that happen, we've got to get past the incompetence, the corruption, and the cruelty of Greg Abbott. Are you with me on this? I mean, this guy cannot even keep the lights on in the energy capital of the world. This guy has presided over a child protective services system and the foster children within it who are sleeping on desks in the hallways right now because we don't have the resources or the attention or the accountability that they deserve. This guy may say he's pro-life. I think he's just pro-birth. We are gonna be pro-kids no matter where they are or who they are in this state. This crazy, aggressive pursuit of transgender children in our communities and in our schools and in their families. When we have real challenges in the state of Texas right now, like seven out of 10 fourth graders cannot read at grade level. And it's not that our kids are any worse than the kids in other states. It's not that our teachers are not trying hard. In fact, they're working two or three jobs just to support their main job right now. 
It's because we have so underpaid those teachers and started to attack them from the highest positions of power. When I am governor, we are going to support public educators and public education and make sure that every child has the resources and support that they need to be able to get ahead. We're going to make sure when I'm governor that we keep the light on in the state of Texas, the heat flowing, the water running, and that we make sure that we make sure that everyone understands that this state is big enough for all of us. That the leadership in Texas truly reflect the genius and diversity of the people in this state. That we don't have to be afraid of one another or pitted against each other or further polarize an already divided state. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you are a Republican, and I hope you're here tonight, or an independent, or we certainly have some Democrats in the House as well. I want to be a governor for each and every single one of you, and I want to bring us together to do the big things that we are truly capable of once we get past the smallness and the cruelty and the divisiveness of this moment. But if we're going to do this, if we're going to build upon our gains that we all realized together in 2018, then it's going to take all of us doing all that we can with what we have where we are right now. And just as Crystal urged us to do, we've got to sign up to volunteer. And we've got to join an army of volunteers out there, a peaceful army that over the course of February has been trying to knock on every single door in every one of the 254 counties of Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you tonight that so far, 53,500 people have signed up to pick up a clipboard, to become a volunteer, and to win this election. We set this ambitious goal because, not just in Crystal Mason's case, but in the case of millions of our fellow Texans, this governor does not trust the voters of this state to make their own decisions about who should represent them, or the course or the direction that Texas will take. And so last year, he signed the most voter-suppressive, most voter-intimidating legislation that we have seen since the Texas president, LBJ, signed the Voting Rights Act into law in 1965. It is harder to cast a ballot in this state than it is anywhere else. And look, democracy is under attack the world over right now. I don't have to tell you that. You watch the headlines. You see it happening half a world away. Well, it's happening right here as well. And when I talked to Catherine, our organizing director, and I said, look, I wish the Department of Justice would ride to the rescue right now and enforce that Voting Rights Act, but they're not. I wish the Supreme Court would make sure that they strike down the unconstitutional voting laws that we have in this state, but they will not. There's no cavalry coming to ride to our rescue. This one is on us. And Catherine said, let me get those volunteers out there. Let me get them knocking on doors and making phone calls and lighten up the phones of our fellow Texans. And I'm going to try, Beto, as best as I can to get to 2 million voters by the end of February, which was yesterday. Well, she told me today we reached 4.5 million voters over the course of February. Un milagro. Absolutely amazing. A miracle. And it's a miracle born of the people of Texas. This campaign is powered by the people of Texas. We will win this race together because of, by, and for the people of Texas. All I need to know from you is, are you ready to sign up and to be part of this campaign? Because if you will do this, I promise you, we will win this. The people of Texas are sick of what we have and they want to change. They cannot believe, they cannot believe that the governor of this state will not trust women to make their own decisions for themselves, that he set a $10,000 bounty on the back of anyone who assists any woman in making her own health care decisions. Well, you don't have to be a Democrat to know that that is wrong, but it's going to take all of us working together to elect me so that you have a governor who trusts every woman to make her own decisions about her own body and her own future and her own health care each and every single time. We're going to do this. I really feel this. Si se puede.
And I just want you to think about what you are willing to do right now and how you want to feel on this night, November 8th, eight and a half months from today. Now, I hope, and I'm, I have to check with, with Amy and the kids, but I hope we're back in Tarrant County on election night. And just like we are gonna do tonight, I hope we're drinking beer on that night. And I hope we wake up on the 9th of November with the best hangover we have ever had in our lives because we've celebrated the best victory we've ever seen in the state of Texas. But think about how you want to feel that night, how you want to look back on this one and say, look, on March 1st of this year, I dedicated myself to my kids, to my family, to my state, to my country, to the generations yet to come. And when all was on the line, and we knew that we had the odds against us, and they were trying to rig the rules of the road while we were actually running this race in the election, I did not allow that to deter me. I did not succumb to the temptation of despair. I got up, I got after it, I knocked on my neighbor's door, I invited them into this democracy, voting in this election, and I made sure that their voice was heard that their vote counted, that their vision was reflected in the campaign that we ran together. On that night, November 8th of 2022, you want to feel completely exhausted, like you've done everything you could have done within your power to win this race. Nothing but nothing left on the field. That beer is going to taste so much more refreshing. That victory is going to be all the sweeter for it. And we are going to celebrate like Texas has never celebrated before. Are you ready for this?